adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Good news today, Keno. Looky here, Keno. I just got a letter from my granddaughter, Melinda. You want to read it? It is right here. He says she's going to arrive here on the 10th. Ain't that something? <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Now, I expect we'd better go on and get her to and get packed up and get on back to the digging so that she won't want for nothing. Come on, Keno. Let's go. Well, there goes old man Weaver. Yeah, Omaha. I think today's our day. Go get some water for Hercules, will you, Kino? Stashing away gold for years. Where is it? Now you're mistaking me for somebody else, dude. You know I ain't got no gold. Quit lying, you old coot. We know better. You've been cashing almost pure concentrate at the trading post in Denver. Not me. You got the wrong man. Say, maybe if we heat this poker up, it'll help you remember where you hid your gold. No, no. Please don't hurt me. I. I'll show you where it is. Now ah, you're being smart. Go on. You're darn shooting on smart. Try to rob me, will you, Duke Cutrell? Now you get off of my property and take that hard gun sling away before I kill the both of you. <laughs> ah, take it easy, Weaver. We never meant to rob you. Well, Omaha and I were just having a little fun. What's the matter with you, Pancho? What are you running from? Pancho is running from Cisco because Pancho have enough trouble to looking for rattlesnakes. But I told you before, rattlesnake is only the name of the town. There are no rattlesnakes there. <laughs> oh, that's different. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, oh. come on. Look, 
Pedro. The sign. You was wrong. The sign say, welcome to Rattling Snakes, and Pancho must not get beat. No? No, Pancho. It says the town welcomes Cisco and Pancho. He does? Of course. But we'll only be here long enough to get some supplies. Yeah, yet long enough to find some hombre who is in trouble, and they're going to put our food in it clear up to our neck, eh? <laughs> Stand back, Rattling Snakes. Here comes Cisco and Pancho. <laughs> Could I be of some assistance? Why, yes, my grandfather, John Weaver, was supposed to meet me. Well, I wouldn't worry, miss. If old John is supposed to be here and isn't, the stage must be early. Strangers. I'm gonna kill that mad dog. Not so fast, mister. This dog is not mad. He's been shot. But he bit me. Get out of the way. Mister, get away, mister. I think you better mind him, senor, before Cisco loses his temper. And Pancho think you better win, because this dog, he don't like you very too much. Andre! Excuse me, miss, but I heard you say John Weaver was your grandfather. Why, yes, he was supposed to meet me here. Have you any idea where he could be? No, but that's his dog, Kino. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid something's happened to old John. You know, he and Kino are inseparable. You never see one without the other. Easy, Kino, easy. Please don't be alarmed, miss. The dog may have been shot accidentally, but my friend and I will find your grandfather and bring him to you. Wonder where find you? Uh, Cisco is good when it comes to finding trouble. Cisco? Are you the Cisco kid? That's what my friends call me. I wouldn't worry now, miss. Now with the Cisco kid on the job. I'll show you to your hotel. Thank you both very much. It's Cisco's pleasure. You are welcome. Hey, Kino. You stay with us. Pancho and I will doctor you. Hey, Pancho. Hey, Kino. But I warn you, if you put in with Cisco, you'll be putting your feet into trouble. All six of them. <laughs> oh, Pancho. You're beginning to look like the fine dog that you are, Kino. And your bullet wound, it's almost healed, thanks to Pancho. Hey, Dr. Pancho, if you please. Well, breakfast is ready. Come and catch him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you hear that, Kino? We're going to have breakfast. Hey, Kino. You are looking so clean. I think better you're going to have a napkin around your neck. <laughs> Why didn't you kill that dog? I was going to, but the Cisco kid and his partner wouldn't let me. Cisco kid? Yeah. Oh, he's bad medicine, dude. And it could be a lot worse if that dog leads him to Weaver's place. I know that. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go gun him down. What's 
get out of here. They're quitting, Pancho. Go get them, Chino. <laughs> this dude. Let's clear out for a while. Oh, quiet, Chino. Quiet. The idea of bringing that hound in here. I didn't bring him. He brought us here. Say, tell me, why is it that every time this dog sees you, he wants to attack you? Why don't you ask him? Quiet, Kino. Quiet. I wish he could talk. And maybe he could tell me who shot him and what happened to old John Weaver. And also who tried to bushel like Cisco and Pancho a while ago. Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, mister. I think you killed John Weaver. You can't talk to me like that. Get out of my office, both of you. Cisco, why don't you let Kino take a little bite out of him? Maybe he will tell us the truth. Get out. Get out of my office. We will, but we'll be back. You can depend on that. Come on, Pancho. Come on, Chino. Come on. Come on. Hey, Cisco, why didn't you let Chino take a little bite out of him? It's a shame to disappoint him this way. We can't prove anything against Cotrell, Pancho, when we don't know what he's done. Yeah, but he killed the old man, didn't he? That's what I think. But what I think is not proof. Oh, then all we have to do is to fall our hands and quit, huh? No, Pancho. We're going to get the proof. Go on, Kino. Go home. Go home, Kino. Go on. Go home. Come on, Pancho. We'll follow him. No, Pancho. But it looks like someone has made a very thorough search for something. For something? For what? For whatever it was that caused Weaver's disappearance. <coughs> what is it, Kino? Yeah, what are you trying to tell us, Cisco? I'm not so sure, Pancho. Hey, I think I know what it is. Listen to that. It sounds hollow. Must be a tunnel on the other side of this wall. Tunnel? How will you get into it? The wall is solid. <laughs> we'll find out. He's going to the wall. She's open. Help 
me, Pancho. Es Jerry. It disappeared like a frijole from a frying pan. Let's look in that gully over there. <laughs> this is just like shooting fish in a barrel. Hold it. I have an idea that dog will lead him right to where Weaver hit his gold. We'll let him do just that little thing and then take care of him. Senor, they, they push him off the cliff, eh? Yes, I shot him too. Pancho, go back to the cabin and get a shovel. I get it. Come on, boy. I hate to tie you up, Kino, but you may not understand what we're going to do with your master. Come here, boy. Pancho so long. Kino, you stay here. I'm going to see what happened to Pancho. Get him up, Cisco. Oh, so it's you, huh? Well, you're not so smart after all. I told you'd be along. Come on, give me a hand. Get that rope. Bring Ponto in here.
Get the gold outside while I arrange to pay our final respects to Cisco and Pacho. Are you sure this is going to look like an accident? Leave it to me. Get the gold. of it, dude. You wouldn't know what to do with so much gold, Omaha. Pancho, try to get your hands loose. Quick, hurry up. Kino. Here, Kino. Here, Kino. You were dead. You're going to wish we were, because we're turning you in for murder. <laughs> and I hope you will invite Cisco and me to your next type party. Come on, get going. You know, you take good care of the young lady. I still think you should take at least half the gold. Oh, but that much gold would only spoil us. <laughs> it certainly would. It spoil who? <laughs> Besides, our services are not for sale, are they, Pancho? <laughs> not if you don't say so. I think. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. 